I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. All good. Okay, so uh, what did we study on Friday? What did we do on Friday? What did we practice? Verb, the sentences. Okay. Pressing continues, right? Yes, teacher. Pressing continues, okay. So uh, today we are going to continue with the same topic, but we are going to study a we are going to study the spelling, the spelling rules for uh, present continuous. Spelling rules for present continuous. Actually, we have five a uh, five different rules. But before going over the spelling rules, let me share my my screen. All right, can you see my screen? Yes. All right. You're going to see, uh, well, at the beginning, you're going to see some, some pictures and you need to uh, give me the correct answer, okay? You're going to see like, like four different answers. So you need to identify the place, okay? Later, uh, you're going to uh, hear a sentence and you need and, and you need to choose uh, the correct answer, right? So you need to choose exactly what you hear, okay? But you'll see different options, and um, and yeah, and this is the the activity, okay? So Mario, you're gonna be the first one. Focus on the picture. And then you give me the correct answer. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Giovanni. How are you? Hi, teacher. Very good. All right. Okay, Mario. So look at the picture, Mario. Look and choose, okay? Choose the correct what is, answer. What is that place? A kitchen, a bathroom, a bathroom, or a living room? Oh, bathroom. Okay, bathroom. All right, good job. Lil. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Lil, uh, look at the picture. Choose the correct uh, bathroom, answer. Bathroom, dining room, or living room? <clears throat> uh, dining room. Dining room. And then, you sure? No, living room. No, oh, living bed. room. Okay. Dining room is a place where you where you eat, right? No, yes, yes. Sorry. Okay, so living room. All right, buddy. It's bedroom. What happened? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> All right, uh, buddies. Choose the correct answer. Yes, teacher. Okay, look at the picture. Okay. Is that a bathroom, living room, dining room, or kitchen? Kitchen. Okay, Miguel. Hey, teacher. Look at the picture. Is that Choose a the correct room, answer. room, bathroom, or bathroom? The living room anterior salió mala. Yes, because that was not living room. Es que no es living room. This one is living room. Yes. Living room. Yes. Okay. All right, let's see. The preview the previous one was Era bedroom. Uh, bedroom was era bedroom. <laughs> Uh -huh. La confundieron, la confundieron. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's the one. No, de mí, el muñeco de mí. Yes. She was laughing at you. Answer. <laughs> okay, uh, Giovanni, look at the picture. A, B, C, or D. Mom is in the picture, but what is mom doing? It's letter D. Letter? Hola? Hola? It's letter D. Letter D. Mommy's it's cooking letter the kitchen. D. Yes, yes. Okay, Nico, you're next. <laughs> Choose the correct answer. Okay. So what is Alexa doing? In the bedroom. Alexa in it and she looks like, like a boy, right? <laughs> she looks like a boy. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> Okay, so no Nico, parece Alexa. <laughs> yes, what is she doing? Alexa, Alexa. is sleeping in the bedroom. <laughs> Al Alexa is sleeping in in the bathroom. Let her be. Okay. Tanya, you're next. <laughs> What is dad doing? Choose the correct answer. And dad is reading in the study. Letter C. Dad is reading in the study. All right, Lenin, you're next. <clears throat> Oh. 
watching TV. Listen. I'm watching TV. What did you hear? <clears throat> What did you hear, Lenin? Little B. Letter B. See? Okay. You sure, Lenin? Póngalo. Quiero oírlo otra vez. I'm watching TV. Yes, Little B. I'm watching okay, TV. All right. Good job. <laughs> Okay, Caesar. <laughs> Listen and choose. Mom is cooking lunch in the kitchen. Mom is cooking lunch in the kitchen. Mom is cooking lunch in the kitchen. Which letter? Little, yes, little A. Uh, Mom is cooking lunch in the kitchen. Letter B. Letter A. Ah, letter A. Yes. Mom is cooking lunch in the kitchen. Okay, let's yes. see. All right, good job. Max. Good teacher. What are you doing? What are you doing? Please, letter, letter D. Letter, letter D. D. Letter okay. D is not letter C, Max. Uh, no. No, <laughs> letter D. Listen again. Listen again. Listen again. What are you doing? So, letter D? Letter D. Letter I sure. B. Letter B. No, D, D, D. D, D as in David. D, yes. Okay. All right, good, good job. Kevin. I'm watching TV. Kevin, are you there? I'm watching TV. Okay, so it's letter? A. All right, Oscar and Maya. Look at the picture. Choose the correct answer. Okay. Next one. <laughs> what is he doing? One more time. One more time. Una. Oh no! Ju just look at the picture. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh -huh. Look at the picture. Uh, letter D. Letter D. She's painting. Letter D. Picture. He's painting a picture. Yeah. yeah. But you get only because Lee because Lee made a mistake. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Okay, so spelling rules uh, for present continuous.
I'm going to show you a video. And I want you to take some notes about the spelling rules. Hold on a second, guys. It's loading. Well, it's it's taking it's taking some time, right? Uh, well, in the meantime, guys, uh, let me ask you some questions. Uh, let's see, Tanya, who is who is in uh, your living room right now? Who is in your living room right now? Uh. Yes, who is in your living room? ¿Cómo está mi cuarto? Who? Who is in your living room? Who? With my sister, teacher. Your sister is in your living room? Yes. Okay, to and get... what is your sister? Yeah. And what is what is your sister doing? Um, my my sister is <laughs> my sister is uh, talking to her boyfriend. Your sister is talking with her boyfriend. Yes. Oh, call calling on the phone. <laughs> yes. Okay, all right. So you can say my sister is talking with her boyfriend on the phone. Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, Kevin, uh, who is in your uh, kitchen? Who is in your kitchen? No one. <laughs> no one? Okay. Yeah. Is um anybody in the in the bathroom? I don't know. 
Are you alone? Mm, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, you're alone. Okay, all right. Uh, Lil, who is who is in the kitchen? In your kitchen? Uh, my mother, he's in the kitchen. Your mother is in the kitchen. And what is your mother doing in the kitchen? Um... <laughs> she is she's eating. She eating is dinner? eating. She's eating dinner, okay? Yes. Who is she eating dinner with? What? Who is she eating dinner with? My mother. Okay, no, but uh, who, is, is alone, who alone. is she? Ah, alone. She's eating alone. alone. He's eating alone. Okay, all right. Uh, hey, Oscar Maya, who is in the yard? Who is in your yard? Do you know the meaning of yard, guys? What is yard? Jardin? Uh, Oops. Programa? Uh, yard? Mm, yes, I mean, in your yard, you can have like some plants, right? But it's not, uh, it's not a garden, right? It's just a yard. Uh, patio. Sure. Yes, okay, that is, that is yard. That is the meaning of yard. So, uh, Oscar Maya, who is in your yard? Teacher, I live in the apartment, no. No. Ah, you don't have a yard. Never, never. So you live in an apartment. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Okay, okay good. Uh -huh. uh, and who is in the living room? Ah, uh, in the living room is my son. Your son, and what is your son doing? Uh, I watching your cell phone. I watching, huh? He, he, he is, because I'm, I'm asking you about your son, so he is, he is uh, playing on his cell phone, you can say. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, he is playing on his cell phone. Okay. All right. Lenin. Is uh, anyone in your house watching TV? Uh. Yes. Who is watching TV? He is uh, my son. Watch Your son TV. is watching TV. Yes. Okay. And what what is your son watching? Uh, what Loha. is your son watching? Oh how? Ah, okay. I hear. <laughs> Okay, yes. all right. Now, guys, can you please ask me similar questions? Ask me similar questions using the present continuous. Ask me similar questions using the present continuous. What are you doing? I'm working. Ask me about a third person. Teacher, who is in your kitchen? Uh, I guess my mom. I guess, I don't know. I guess my mom is in the kitchen. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Ask me some more questions, guys. Who is your yard? In the yard, nobody. Nobody's in the yard because it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so nobody nobody is in the yard because it's raining. <laughs> one more question, one more question. Teacher. Yes, tell me Cesar. Who is in your dining room? In my what? Dining room. In my dining room, uh, my nephew. Do you know the meaning of nephew? Yes, no. Sobrino. Nephew. No. Sobrino. Nephew. Oh. This is the son, the teacher. He is my sister's son. He is my sister's son. Okay, my nephew. And my nephew is in the dining room. And he is eating his dinner. Okay, all right, guys. I have the video. Uh, let me share my screen. With present continue. With the present continuous tense, you need to add ing to a verb. It's not, not always, always that right. easy. Okay. the present continuous tense, you need to add ing to a verb, but it's not always that easy. Today I'll give you five simple rules for adding ing to a verb. Number one, does it end with w, x, or y? Snow, paw, grow. Mix, fix, box, cry, fly, reply. All of these verbs end with W, X, or Y. So we just add ING. No changes. Snowing, mixing, crying. Okay, so that is rule number one. Okay, when you have a verb, guys, that ends in letter W, X, or Y, you add ING, okay? Snow, snowing. Po, pawing. Grow, growing. Mix, mixing. Fix, fixing. Box, boxing. Cry, crying. Fly, flying. Reply, replying. 
Okay. Do you know the meaning of these verbs? What is the meaning of Paul? When your cat or your dog, okay, it touches you. Okay, so with uh, its leg, right? So that is paw. Box, box, it's a verb. If you box something, you uh, put uh, that thing into a box. So you, you store some things into boxes. So that is boxing. So remember, when you have a verb that ends in letter A, W, X, or Y, just add ing. Crying. Number two. Does it end with I and E together? Change the I, E to Y, and then add I, N, G. With words like lie, pie, die, and vi. Let's change the I, E to Y, and add I, N, G. Lying, tying, like this. Okay, this is rule number two. When you have a verb that ends in IE, right? So you change the IE to Y. For example, uh, lying, tying, dying, and vying. What is the meaning of vi? No idea? No. No idea. Okay. Vi is the same as compete. You know what compete means, right? Hello? You know the meaning of compete, right? Maybe it's competencia. Uh, it's a verb. Is the action. What is the action, Lid? Competir. Mm-hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. that is by. All right, by is a synonym for a compete. All right, so like, what is tie? Tie. What is tie? No idea, teacher. No idea. Okay, all right. Is um, timido? Um, no. No, no. No, no, no. No, it's, we are talking about actions. We are talking about verbs. Okay. Okay, so look at this. I have a shoe, all right? So I'm tying uh, the shoelaces, okay? What is tie? Atar. Amarrar. Okay, exactly. Let's see. Right? The, yes, that is the, okay, that is the, the, the action, right? Tie. Also, you can tie your, your tie, right? So you can uh, look formal, formal, okay? So remember, when you have a verb that ends in a, IE, so you change the IE to Y, okay, and then you add ING. What does it mean in lying? Oh, uh, lie. What is lie? Mentir. What is the meaning of lie? Mentir. Hmm? Mentir. Yes, when you do not 
when you do not tell the truth, Tanya. Mm -hmm. All right, that is lie. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So, rule number three. Teacher. Tell me, Lil. Um, and after, can you repeat that the number one? Because uh, <laughs> my internet is not fallando. Me saco. Okay. All right. Rule number one, Lil, is this one. This is rule number one. Continuous tense. You need to add ing to a verb, but it's not always that easy. Today I'll give you five simple rules for adding ing to a verb. Number one, does it end with w, x, or y? Snow, paw, grow, mix, fix, box, cry, fly, reply. All of these verbs end with w, x, or y. So we just add ing. No changes. Snowing, mixing, crying. Okay, that is rule number one. Number two, does it end with I and E together? Lying, tying, like this. Number three. Does it end with just one E? Make, dance, ride, save. All of these words end with one E. We're going to take off the E and then add ING. Making, dancing, riding, saving. All right. So when you have a verb that ends with one, that's really important, with one E, not with two E's, with one E, take off the E and add ING. For example, make, making, you remove the letter E and you add ing. Ride, riding, okay? Dance, dancing. Save, saving. And remember, it's just one E. Words like C and C have two, so that's different. Number four. Does it end with a CVC word? A CVC word is a V, is a vowel in the middle. A, E, I, O, or U. We're going to double the last letter, then add ING. Shopping. H O P is a CVC word, so we double the P. Begin. G I N is a CVC word, so we double the N. And it's the same for get and swim. The CVC word doubles the last letter, and then you can add ing. Oops. Number five. Let's go back. The last okay, look at this. When you have a CVC word, CVC is consonant, vowel, consonant. All right, so when you have a CVC word, you double double, you duplicate, you double the last letter, and you add ing, for example, shop, okay, CVC, right, consonant, vowel, consonant, so you double the last consonant, and you add ing, because this is a CVC word, shopping, all right, look at this one, okay, 
Consonant, vowel, consonant. You double the last consonant and you add ing, beginning. Get, consonant, vowel, consonant, right? You double the last consonant plus ing, getting. Look at this one. Consonant, vowel, consonant. You double the last consonant and you add ing, swimming, okay? It happens when you have a CVC word, consonant, vowel, consonant. And add ing. Number five, the last rule is about stress. Stress is when we say part of a word stronger than the rest. Like elephant. The first L part is stronger. Or table. We don't say table, so the stress is on te, table. If the last syllable of the verb has no stress, then just add ing. All of these words end with a CVC word, but there is no stress on the CVC word, so we just add ing. We do not double the letter when there's no stress on the CVC word. Okay. And last. Um, okay, look at this. The last rule is about stress. Okay, a stress is when you say a syllable stronger. That is a stress. So if you take a look at these verbs, all of these verbs uh, have a CVC ending. Yes or not? Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. A consonant, vowel, consonant. All right? A, let me see. Consonant, vowel, consonant. But what happens? Okay. The second syllable is not a stress. So when the second syllable is not a, is not a stress, so you don't, you don't, you don't double the last consonant even though you have a CVC ending. Why? Because, um, because the, the stress goes on the first syllable, not on the second one. For example, look at this. What is the correct pronunciation of this verb? You say answer, answer, answer. So the stress goes on the first syllable, answer. So you don't say answer. That is not the correct pronunciation, okay? So, since the stress goes on the first syllable, just add ing, okay? Answer, answer it. Open, open, open. You don't say open, okay? Open, so the stress goes on the first syllable, so just add ing, listen. Listen, listen, you don't say listen, okay? So the stress goes on the first syllable and you just add ing. Visit, 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 travel, right? Offer, okay? So when the stress goes on the first syllable and not on the CVC word, so you just add ing. Don't double the last consonant, all right? Are we clear? It is clear, teacher. Okay. Word. And the last. If the verb does not fit into these five rules, then just add ing. 
Words like eat, drink, do. They do not follow any of these five rules. So we just add ing. Okay, so if you have a bird that doesn't feed into one of these five rules, just add ing. Questions? I don't understand the last. No, let me do Okay. All right, let me explain again. Lil, eh, the last rule has to do with stress. Okay. For example, mm. Okay, I split this verb into syllables, right? Travel, you have two syllables, right? Okay, yes. so, but where does the stress go? On the first syllable or on the second one, Lil? The first. The first one, because you say travel, oh. you don't say travel. Mm -hmm. That is not the correct pronunciation, okay. So, eh, if you take a look at this ending, V E L C V C, consonant, vowel, consonant, but the stress goes on the first syllable, not on the second one. Okay, so you're going to just add ing. Don't double the last consonant. Okay. However, guys, with this verb, maybe, maybe you have seen this spelling. Maybe you have seen this spelling. Have yes. you seen this spelling? E R A E E I L I N. Have you seen this spelling? Traveling with double L. Double L? No. Ya han visto esta 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 escritura? Yes, yes teacher. With double yes. L. Okay. Okay, and it's correct. Right, it's correct. The thing is that this verb is considered a, is considered to be an exception. All right. Why? Because if you, I don't know, it's an it's an exception. Okay. If you if you, I mean, this verb has two spelling forms. The first one is traveling. And the other is traveling with double L, but both are correct. But the rule says, guys, if you if you stick to the rule, the rule says that uh, it's not allowed, okay, or you cannot double the last consonant because the stress goes on the first syllable, but it's an exception. If you if you write down this verb with double L, that's okay. But you better stick to the rule. I, I'm, I'm just telling you this for you to know, right? But it's stick to the rule, okay? It's stick to the rule, so you cannot get confused. All right, stick to the rule. <laughs> All right, questions? Any other question? No. No, okay. Go to Schoology, go to Schoology, click on week number three. Very few people today, only 14. With three? Yes. Uh, and then you click on extra practice. Extra. Click on extra practice. 
positive and negative, pressing for continuous taboo, work with grammar. Word. Okay, are you in? No, teacher, no me deja entrar a la página. Um, Creo que la red quedó afectada por, por la lluvia. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Después del extra practice, teacher. Ok, after extra practice, guys, after extra practice, eh, you're going to click on present continuous contest. Click on present continuous contest. The present continuous spelling rule. Present continuous contest. The monster challenge. Okay. 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 All right. So you have a bunch of verbs, right? <laughs> you have a lot of verbs right there. So you need to write down the the progressive form for those verbs. So think about the rule. Think about the rule. If the verb fits into rule number one, two, three, four, or five. Okay. And then you write down the correct spelling form. But I'm going to create uh, breakout rooms so you can compare a, what you do with your partner, okay? Okay. All right. Join, please, join. Okay, how much you get? Did you finish? Yes. Yes. How much, how much you get? What was your score? 10. 10? Yes. Okay, and what about the first one, guys? Believe. What? What about the first one? Believe. Believing. Believing. But believe is a steady verb, guys. Believe is a steady verb, remember? Yes. It refers to a mental state. So, it's a steady. So, technically, you cannot say believe in. I don't know why it's on the list. Maybe it's a mistake. But believe is a steady. You cannot use ing form will believe. But I'll do it. All 
Okay, all right, guys. Uh, we're going to stop right here. Remember, tomorrow is is off, so no classes, and we're gonna continue on Wednesday. All right. Okay. Much out. Ah, Nico. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's go over the attendance. Oscar Amaya. Present teacher. Okay. Ever Campos. Present. Ever, are you there? Where's Ever? No, Ever is missing. Okay. Miguel Cruz. Present teacher. Lenin Escobar. Present teacher. Tania Escobar. Present teacher. Douglas Flamenco. Present teacher. Oscar Peñate. Missing. Eh, Rogelio Guardado. Missing. Eh, David Hernández. Present teacher. Ok. Gabriel, Gabriel Hernández. Ok, excused. Mario Hernández. Present teacher. Thomas Leonel. Excused. Lee López. Present teacher. William López. Missing. Kevin Martínez. Present. Nicolás Monge. Present teacher. Nicolás. Present. Okay, eh, Maximiliano Monterrosa. Present. Boris Romero. Present. Jose Torres. Present. Jose Vázquez. Okay. Missing. Marvin Zúñiga. Excused. Okay. So I'll let you go right now, okay? I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye